Howdy folks, it's Altrell here and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. 57% done with the Norway Norwegian Discover Norway bus trip. One leg per video. Leg nine. That's all the introduction you get. Here we go. Alright, first thing we do is come down here, repair and refuel like always, and we take note of where we're going now. We're going to Romeo Mike and um few waypoints here close together so we we will read about the first two right away but let's put that down for now let's come down here and get everything set up and how's everybody doing i believe you're watching this pretty close to new year's if not after new year's um i'm not sure when i'm editing these i'm trying to record them not all at once but i'm trying to record as many as i can just record like pretty much the whole bush trip and then go back and edit it just for some back of the house let out the secret type stuff um just because i feel like flying right now not editing so happy new year everybody and everything like that and um days are getting longer the winter solstice has passed here in the northern hemisphere and that's it <laughs> that's all i have to say all right we're headed 34 minutes 101 nautical miles what do you think we need for altitude let's do Oh gosh, but I don't want to miss the train. Let's do 3,000 feet. So, kind of high for sightseeing the train or the stuff on the ground, but kind of low in case there's train. Let's just do that. We'll do flight, no flight directory on. We'll use heading bug. And we'll do vertical speed nose up. Let's do 800 feet per minute. 900 feet per minute, whatever. And what's our first heading since we're down here? 60 degrees. Let's just get this ready now. We don't use checklists during bus ships, by the way, because everything we run and everything. So sometimes I forget things. All right, here we go. Just east of Froya Flatel Airport is Intidian. Intian. Intian. A small, beautiful island. So 60 degrees is probably one minute out. It's probably this right here, I would think. Right? And then after that. Trav of Jordan. So if we zoom this out, which is this way, there's a fjord and a fjord somewhere over here. What, what are they talking about, though? I wonder. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of cheating and looking at Google Maps and it's not on there. So somewhere around here is Trav of Jordan because we're going to go 60 degrees to here and then 77 which is not much more so I don't know what they're talking about. It's five minutes out though so it could be over here. I guess we'll find out together then once we get that far out we'll talk about Sorger Fjorden but Trav of Jordan first. Alrighty. Here we go. Um, One minute. One and a half minutes and five minutes. Okay. Let's see. What do we need to do? Flaps already be down one notch because they are. Let's have a look outside before we take off because we haven't looked around much. Ooh, smooth as silk. I am not running HDR in Windows and I'm not running HDR in the sim. And Bandicam is happy finally and it just looks better. The monitor itself without all the gadgets and things turned on is incredible. And G-Sync is definitely, I definitely noticed a huge difference with G-Sync. But the HDR thing, I'm not sold. In Windows, nor in Windows, nor in the sim. So, alrighty, that looks incredible. In fact, I have to admit, I had a dream last night about my wife being in this part of Norway on these rocks like this from Flying Flight Simulator. But, um, she was on an expedition, a scientific expedition, which is something she would never do <laughs> in real life. And this is where she was. And, um, other things happened I can't share in. A video but I told her and she thought it was pretty funny oh boy we're in the middle of the runway we don't have a lot of runway so we are going to um burn a UV here I'm sliding backwards in my chair what the heck what is going on oh, oh let's turn gently and it turned up my personal volume and let's back taxi all the way to the other side of the runway hopefully we don't register to crash if we touch this greenery oh please don't crash it good okay it's not telling me it's a crash good all right let's back taxi this thing here and then we'll take off and fly our leg 
and see how much longer than 31 minutes it takes 34 minutes let's see if we can get there in less than an hour the way it takes me I'm gonna go back taxi this I'll meet you at the other end oh there's people up there they're waiting for us why did you wheel my plane out all the way to there when it's wrong guys whatever I'll see in a second dude you better move out of the way here please yeah, that's kind of a funny mistake. There's actually like a ramp to start right there. Oh, dude, no. What to do that? No, move it. Move it. Oh, we almost took off her bun with the propeller. And by bun, I mean here bun, of course. All right, let's see if we can do a better job turning this around. And as soon as we do, we'll just, um, come on. We'll just take off as soon as we turn. I must have my master volume turned way down for some reason because my speakers are cranked and I can barely hear this. Weird. Alright, you didn't see nothing. We had a perfect U-turn completely on pavement. <laughs> Please don't call it the tarmac. Oh man, I could go into the tarmac rant. Should I? The super brief version is that Tarmac is a company like Kleenex. There's no such thing as the Tarmac. It's pavement. You can call it an apron and stuff, but Tarmac isn't doesn't exist. It's a British pavement company, or it used to be. Dude, there are so many bumps on this runway. Brakes. Gear coming up. Ooh, there's a little pond that's raised. And flaps coming in. Flying by hand for a moment. While we enjoy flight with the G-Sync monitor, and things are so smooth, it's like butter. Remember before I would complain that even though our frames were like in the 50s and 60s with everything cranked, it was still jittery and stuff? Well, right now, um, Pito heat is off. Right now, it is smooth as smooth can be. I can't believe it. Alrighty, we're hand flying for now. Let's hop outside, but we have to use the chase cam that has the stupid HUD because you cannot turn off the HUD in bush trips. This is grayed out. You can turn it off a regular flight then. But I cannot use my whatchamacallit. Um there's a tiny island right there. I cannot use my drone view because I don't have control of the aircraft because my yoke and pedals control the drone too. So let's enjoy this island. Briefly, let's quick go inside and make sure vitals are okay. They are. Are they? Yeah. And then we'll um use autopilot here in a second. Oh look at this. Okay, let's go inside, look out the window. Best as we can anyway. Alright, what are we doing? We are now changing to what? 77 degrees. So we're gonna go 77 degrees like this and engage autopilot and start the timer and we're gonna do this for five minutes and 14 seconds oh, bring our RPM back a little bit all right so what do you think this is gonna put us five minutes it could put us in here this could be the fjord that we're looking for let me check Google Maps super fast let's see if maybe that's what we're looking for um, it doesn't say anything, but based on my experience doing this for a while, I'm guessing this little area right here is where we're headed. I mean, that is where we're headed, literally, but well, it could be that one, too. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. And then after that, what are we going to do? Then we're going to turn 35 degrees, which is up quite a ways, for 13 minutes. For Sjordan Fjorden. The stunning coastline of Sjordan Fjorden. Okay, so we'll sightsee about here for five minutes and then we'll edit it down, but five minutes is my time. And then we'll go to the other Fjorden and then we'll reconvene. So I'll see you in a couple minutes. Is 3,000 going to be enough? Um, I, I think so, but let's do. 3,800, just because we should.
All right, I'll monitor the vitals and um, terrain, and you enjoy the sightseeing with the Minecraft clouds. And it looks like there's oily surfaces on the water. See that? That's interesting. And I'll see you in what? Three minutes. Edit it down. See you then. Approaching incredible scenery and other lakes. I've talked about how this rural scenery sometimes it's a 1 out of 10, sometimes it's a 10 out of 10, just depends on the satellite imagery and the scaling and everything and how they put into the sim for different parts of the world. The bus trips aren't always the best either in terms of what you see. So, this is nice. This is probably a 10 out of 10 scenery as it renders in to the left of the nose. Look at those trees and everything. Holy moly rock and rolly anyway it's been about five minutes 24 seconds wrong button there we go and i don't know which fjord we're supposed to be looking at the one on the right the one on the left i don't know which one is the fjord so anywho um let's take a look outside together super fast and look around and how incredible that is see look at that the sun down there oh my gosh wow to live there would be awesome. Although I feel safer in cities than I do rural areas. Um, but that's just me. Alright, looks like there's some more fjord in there. There's an airport there as well. And I'm going to see my Minnesota accent is coming out a little bit. That's okay. Alrighty. Um, we covered quite the ground in five minutes, didn't we? Wow. Look at that. A little distracted. We're going to miss our turn here. We need to turn what? 35 degrees now. We kind of missed it, but that's okay. 35 degrees. Looks like... Whoops, not that. Looks like that. We're going to restart the timer. There we go. And... Um, okay, just watch my speed. So the coastline of the fjord then must just be, what is it? Oh, it's 13 minutes though. So if we went from here to here in five, double that. We're gonna go way up here in 13. So somewhere around here, I guess, is where we're headed along the coast, it said. So 13 minutes, we'll see where that takes us. And then after that, we'll read about the next place, but we'll read about that as we get closer to this one. So enjoy more scenery. I don't have anything new to say. Um, I just wanted to point out that this is 10 out of 10 scenery. Oh, look, there's a building on top of that hill. Going under the wing right now. Anyway, 10 out of 10 scenery. Looks incredible. Jump flying the G36, which I love. And what else is there to say? Um, not much else. I already told my Norway stories in the previous leg. I won't bore people again. And there we go. That's it. So 13 minutes I said. 13 minutes. So I'll see you in about 10 minutes or so. Edit it down. You won't miss anything though. I include all the scenery. I'm going to stare at my brand new security cameras that I installed on my house because it's fun and dirty. And I'll see you soon.
Okie dokie. Wow, we're pretty close to that train. I'm glad I chose the elevation I chose, or the altitude I chose. Looking good. Let's look like outside before we move on to the next place. Next waypoint. Yeah, it's not so flat out here, is it? I love that movement. You can see, like, movement standing still in the rock pattern. There, see that? You can see the movement. Even though it's not moving. Wow. Alrighty. There's the ocean, because there's the north. We're on the northern shore of Norway by now. Okay. What is next? We are going to turn... Um, well, I guess I should wait another minute. I'm not going to, though. <laughs> turn 44 degrees. 44 is this way. 44 degrees. Restart the timer. And we're headed to the island of Adaria. 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 Adar Adar oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. 27 miles, nine minutes away. Then, after that, we come to an end at Reykjavik. Reykjavik Airport. Okay. So. Let's see, that's going to put us off the map, right? 13, what is 9 minutes right now? 9 minutes will get us probably to the end of this map. Then after that, is our airport, which could be here. Because we're going to, yeah, we're going to turn, yep, we're going to turn to 351. So we're going to get to about this area here. Then we're going to go almost north. Yep, perfect. Look at that. Didn't even need Google Maps for this one. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go. I'm going to see you in about eight minutes or so before we make our final turn to the airport. Simple as that. Not Nothing new came up to say, so we're just going back to sightseeing and enjoy the pattern of the rock movement. And we'll see you in a little bit. Wow, 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 how gorgeous are those Minecraft clouds? I mean the scenery <laughs> out the window. Not a whole lot of sightseeing that segment. I had to run upstairs and take care of something super fast. But we're back now, just in time, I think. Um, if I go over here, yeah, so I think we're supposed to end up over here, actually. We're a little bit south. I think we're supposed to end up in this area, but that is okay. Let's do our turn now. We're a little ahead on schedule. 351 degrees, so we'll go back this way to 300, and 50 plus 1, which is like that. Restart the timer, even though we know where we're going now. We are going to Romeo Mike, which I believe is going to be an airport that pops into view. So we're a little, little east of where we're supposed to be, I think. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be there. We'll see if it actually pops in as we get closer. Might have to um, zoom in even more. But it's in how many minutes? Five minutes only. So not much time to figure out what's going on. Um, as far as coming down in altitude, we got to stay up here at least. Oh my, we're getting some train turbulence. But it's worth it. There we go. There's the island we're supposed to be looking at. Um, train turbulence coming down. Um, I guess I can come down, start coming down here, but there's a little bit more terrain there. I think we were supposed to be over here in the plan. 
Therefore, when we come down to land, we can start descending. So I might get us back on course. Um, no airport showing up yet, though, but it has to be because we're doing everything correctly. Um, water on one side. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do some course correction here. So let's go this way a little bit just to get off the train, and then I can start descending once we get over this open water. And we'll look for an airport. I'm assuming once I zoom in enough, it'll pop in. Maybe. Wait. Well, that scared me. I thought I was down there. I'm like, I'm not backwards. All right, let's see here. Um, yeah, we'll head do this heading to here. Then redo the heading to 351 while we start descending. So about a minute of sightseeing for you. And then I'll come back and we'll land this plane. See you in a bit. And I know there's only 20 seconds of sightseeing, but that's okay. It's time to make our course correction. The airport showed up at that zoom level, so let's go back this way to 351. And then once we figure out um, what's going on, we'll land, airport runway orientation. We'll get closer, and then we'll dogleg left a little bit. And then land, let's bring altitude down to about, yeah, 1800, so we can still see. Vertical speed, ED 600 feet per minute, bringing back throttles a little bit so we don't over speed. And we'll, um, we'll take care of this here. Whoop, watch that little purple line, your predictive indicator there. Bring back a little bit more. Come on, stop. Climbing the speed, there we go. All right, we should be good. All right, um, do you see an airport up there? Bring back our pins as well. Um, yes, it's right here, right there. So we are cruising, <laughs> we're cruising. So let's kill autopilot, let's land this thing ourselves. Bring back throttles. I know gear's gonna ding. Ooh, it's going to the right. So let's, because they're so high, um, you know what? I was going to loop around. Yeah, let's loop around. Let's go over the airport. Not quite over the center, and then we'll loop around. Unless you think we can make it like this. I could slip it. We could make it, but that would be extremely uncomfortable. And not entirely as realistic as we could be, so we'll just do this and get a little bit more scenery. Ooh, islands, you know how I feel about islands. I guess it's been a while since I've talked about islands. So islands, I love nature, but I'm scared of animals that are bigger than a cat. <laughs> hey, look at that bridge out there. Oh, well, maybe those are wind turbines. Anyway, I'm scared of animals that are bigger than a cat. And um, that's why I don't like the woods, especially at night. I haven't had any experiences with animals. I'm just scared of animals bigger than a cat. I don't want to be mauled. So, um... Islands, though, little tiny islands where animals might not live on because there aren't any resources. I'm fine with that. Like right here, see that one right there? These two. Like, I would love that. Trees, an island. If there's any animals on it, you'll see them right away. Um, stuff like that. I love that idea. But, yeah, I don't know. Nature scares me. We were camping once in a it was a campground but we took the rustic camping which was just the edge of a cornfield let's do gear down and um um i was so petrified that deer would come through the tree line and get us in our sleep <laughs> it scared me I couldn't stand it it was terrible and silly but i was not able to sleep those nights all right we're gonna loop around here let's do first set of flaps and monitoring everything as we go here. Where's the runway? It's back there somewhere. I did lose sight of it, so let's stop descending. So let's get some throttles going here. If we don't descend. Attitude to keep our pitch, or yeah, pitch to keep our speed where we want it. So we'll nose up a little bit to slow down. Throttles back so we don't descend at the same time. 
Yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out for that runway. If we get too low, we won't see it. I think I know where it is, though. It's off the wing, I believe. Or is it the next one? Did I really lose it? No, it's off the wing. Alrighty, here we go. The urge to look around. We're gonna look around anyway. Lots of islands there. Okie dokie. Are we ready? Are you ready? I'm not. Now right, let's turn in. I think I know. I think this is our island or our not island, but the coastline. Where are you? Runway, please come into view. Do we overshoot it? I think we overshot it quite a bit. Oh yes, we did. Yeah, I lost sight of it because it's so low. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we lost. It. Yeah, we did lose sight of it. That's okay. We have space. Um, looking around at the islands. That one without trees is boring, though. Second set of flaps. Coming at a pretty sharp angle here, but that's okay. We can handle it. Right, throttles back so we descend slightly. And nose down so we speed up. A little bit more throttle so we don't crash into the ground. One more look to the right. Low train level, I love it. Get ready to land, gears down, flaps are down. And why are we sinking? Let's not stall so soon this time either. <laughs> I mean, you know, teasing the stall horn upon touchdown, whatever, but I've been teasing the stall horn like 15 feet up, which is not very good. The ground effects save us every time, but that's not the way to do it. All right, here we go. What is going on with that? threshold did they repave it all right let's come down aim for those numbers keep an eye on your speed because we're getting kind of slow here we go precise speed control and tease that stall horn about now perfect there we go those wheel down gently and i can't are the reversers i forgot to check there are reversers look at that Ooh. Nice. Okay. I think they're reversers. It acted like reversers. There we go. Only 12 minutes long was supposed to be. One leg per video. So we're going to move on in the next video to leg 10. Like, subscribe so you know when it gets released. And I'll see you then.